Hi everyone, it's I Want a Turtle and it is finally time. I just got this in the mail, just got back from work and it is time to open up some new stuff as far as what it's gonna be. Um, so this thing is still sealed. I uh, can't show one side, that's my <clears throat> address on it. And ah, here's my cutter. So it's been a long wait, way overdue. We're very behind. Tag team has been out for since Friday. And we are finally opening our first box of Sun and Moon Team Up. Ah, I feel like a lot of new new cool stuff was introduced in Team Up. You got the Prism Stars, you got now you got these tag teams. Very cool. Alright. And for good luck, we brought a random PSA card to kind of um, <clears throat> instill some good fortune. And it is a Magikarp because we want, or, oh wait, that's a Gyarados. <laughs> I got the wrong one. I meant to get Magikarp because we want the Whale Lord Magikarp tag team card. All right, so as per usual, we are going to split this up into couple parts and so for this first part we'll be doing 12 packs of team up so without further ado we've waited long enough let's do this we opened the um, elite trainer box the card quality was kind of weird actually even this pack I feel like it's opening kind of strange I'm very curious about the print run of this and kind of like where it was printed and whether or not that differs from <clears throat> the other sets because, yeah, the feel is definitely very different. Um, and if this is something that you've noticed as well, definitely let me know. So I'm very curious about it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just so smooth. All right, so we do have the Dana. Uh, only if you're an active point active Pokemon stage two, search your deck for up to two cards and then put them in your hand. Situational. Spirit Tomb, Meridian Forest, Magic Cup. Do you want you paired up with Whale Lord though? Execute. Helioptile. Meowth. Nidoran. Mimikyu. Reverse. Very cool. We got a Filch. Draw two cards and then copycat. If your opponent's Pokemon used uh, an attack and GX attack during the turn, um, use it this turn. Or use that attack. Can't really read. The lighting's not that good right now. And for our first. Rare, we have a Aerodactyl regular rare. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but the packs are just opening. Very strange. This part, this uh, I feel like there's a lot more glue in between. So it's just making it a little bit not difficult, but just different. All right, Psychic Energy. The energies are different. Dual Blade, Tentacruel, nice. <clears throat> Return label. Zorua, Larvitar, Sweater Larvitar, Psyduck, Vullaby, Weedle, Ammonite, and there's a little shiny on the edges, Ammonite Reverse, and, oh, what, huh, I thought it was something else. Alright, Pinsir, that's a little disappointing. If I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's like a little shine on the edge. I feel like this print quality is really questionable. So far we have opened only a Elite Trainer Box and we didn't... We got a couple GX cards but nothing crazy. Water Memory, why are we still making those? Skullduck, Squirtle, kind of like that Squirtle. Bronzor, Klefki, Pidgey, and Mulga, I like that. It's like a flying squirrel. <clears throat> a Weedle Reverse. Ooh! Pikachu and Zekrom Full Art. Very nice. I'm actually not sure what the, the Hyper Rare version looks like. And uh, for Full Art, compared to the other sets, it's much less textured. 
which again like the car quality I'm so far not crazy about it <clears throat> and uh, when, when we look at the like the elite trader box the coloring the color scheme was a lot more blue I actually like that a little bit better uh, this yellow is not bad um, but I do like the blue a little bit better all right so we do have our first full art in Pikachu Zekrom and actually, before we go any further, let's just look at the text real quick, because I think it... I'm not sure how viable it is, but it is pretty good. Uh, so, full blitz, 150 for three. Uh, search your deck for up to three energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. And then, tag bolt. Uh, if this Pokemon has at least three electric energy... I'm just going to change... Let's we'll see if we can zoom in a little bit. So yeah, it's not bad. Attached to, eh, lighting's still pretty bad. But I feel like that card, this card, not great, but, um, <clears throat> or there's some potential there. Kind of reminds me of the Rayquaza from Celestial Storm. Voltorb, another Weedle. Don't understand why there's multiple of the same guy in every in these sets. Grimer, Reverse, and Needle Queen. I'm still confused why the Nidoran, Nidorina, Needle Queen uh, species lines are psychic. All right, Water Energy, Heliolisk, Buff Padding, Kabuto, Meow, Lola Geodude, Grimer. Pidgey, Bronzor, Mightyena, that is the reverse, and we do have a Lycanroc GX. This is with Twilight Eyes. Alright, so we got our second GX of the box, and it's Lycanroc. There's a lot of Lycanrocs. All right, Ingo and Emmett. Look at the top card of your deck. Choose one. Discard from. Discard your hand. Draw five card. Discard your card and draw five cards from the bottom of your deck. Hmm. That's not bad. Cynthia Morgan. Uh, only if you discard Dana, Evelyn, and Nita from your hand. Look at the top twelve cards in your deck and add any number of energies <coughs> you find in your to your to your Pokemon. Shuffle the other cards into your deck. All right, that's super high cost. It's like a super, super, super elixir. Pancham, it's one of those like clay cards. Needle Arena, and a Lapras with Confuse Ray. Your Pokemon, Pokemon is confused, and a Hydro Pump for one. This pump does 30 damage times the number of water energy attached to that Pokemon. Hmm, I feel like that's pretty good. 40 damage just for one. And then it'll ramp up to 60. I like that. Lapras. To keep an eye on that one. Oops. Getting confused again. Flipping over the cards. Alright, we'll go quick. Tauros. Actually, let's just read that one real quick. Attack does 10, 10 more damage for each damage counter on all your Tauros and Tauros GX Pokemon. Interesting. Lavender Town. War Turtle. Weedle, Hilly up top, execute. Pharaoh Seed. I'm not familiar with this guy. Parasect, reverse, with a Alolan Executor. Executor. So far, the Gyarados is giving us pretty good luck. But I think there's still room to improve. Alright, we got a Hone Edge, Pidgeotto, Nidoran, Cosmog, Magikarp, ooh, a Prism Star of Wondrous Labyrinth, and a Mightyena. Ooh, Mightyena. 
for a DCE. Attack does 50 damage and discard a random card from your opponent's hand. That could be very annoying. It is a it does need to evolve, but it's only a stage one. It only has 100 HP, but I like the idea of that card. Dangerous Drill, Graveler, Dratini, Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, Cosmog, Voltorb, Alolan Graveler again, and a Mandibuzz. Okay, Lightning Energy. War Turtle, Pupitar, kind of a cool art. Pokemon Communication, Ponard, Grimer, Ponyta, Mareep, Charmander, very cute. Hitmonchan, the Hitmonchan and Himalaya, very funny art style. And, woohoo, Celebi and Venusaur. Oh man, we're doing pretty good as far as getting the tag team cards. All right, very nice. So we got two, three and a half hits. We still got two packs left. All right, fire energy. <clears throat> Judge's whistle, Nanu, Hitmon Lee, Paris, Ponard, Staryu, Honage, Weedle, Star you again. Perfect. I feel like that happens surprisingly often where the, the reverse you get is also a card that you have in the same pack. Okay. Last booster pack for our very first opening of Tag Team. We got a Fighting Energy. Kabuto. Nidorino. Fairy Charm. Squirtle. Tentacool. Grimer. Pidgey, Tratini, Kabuto, and Alolan Marowak. Let's just check this card. Search your card for two basic energy. Attach them to your Pokemon in any way that you like. Ooh, Limbo Limbo is very strong. And then Alolan Club. This attack does 20 damage to each of your Pokemon in play that has Alolan in its name. What? Oh, 20 damage for each Pokemon. Hmm. I like the sound of that. There's some there's some potential here. Uh, particularly the cards I find interesting are the Molo Marowak, the Mighty Anna. I actually didn't read this one. 60 damage, discarded number of executed hand. This is 60 damage for each card discard that way. That sounds weird. Lapras. Alright, in order, probably I think Lapras is very see feels very viable. Alola Marowak is interesting. And Mighty Anna. Has some potential, doesn't do a lot of damage, but having your opponent discard a card, I feel like is very, uh, a lot of potential there. For our hits, we got a Wondrous Lab Prism Star, GX, we got Lycan Rock GX, Celebi Venusaur, and Pikachu Zekrom Full Art. So there you have it, guys. Uh, pretty good opening, solid, solid opening for only 12, or good results for only 12 packs. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, please drop a like on it and we're going to be opening uh, Probably be doing multiple uploads per day of team up content So definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to catch all of it uh, hit that bell so you get notified when the video goes up and Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you guys next time later